Hi, I'm Vicky Grant and welcome to the behind the scenes guide to how we made Steve Irwin's wax figure. With the involvement of Steve's family and research images, the sculptors got to work on making his head and body out of clay. As this was a research figure, we had to use only photos and were guided by his family. The brand new wax figure will feature as a permanent addition at Madame Tussauds Sydney from mid-August. A special plaster mould was then made of Steve's clay head. It's in 13 pieces so it could be removed from the clay and put back together, like a jigsaw puzzle. Nearly nine years of the Aussie icon passing, Steve Irwin's wax figure will pay tribute to the crocodile hunter's legacy as a respected wildlife expert, television personality and conservationist. Then melted wax was poured into the mould and left to set. and the result is a hollow wax cast of his head. Next, the eyes and teeth were fitted. Then it's time for the hair insertion, where each hair is individually inserted, a process which took the team over one month to complete. The colouring artists used special oil-based paints to build up the colour and all the details. Once the fiberglass body was coloured, it's time to put all the parts together and dress the figure. The Irwin family kindly donated Steve's original trademark khaki shirt and shorts, along with his socks and desert boots. So there you have it, the whole process from start to finish. It took about three months. I hope you've enjoyed watching this behind the scenes guide to the making of Steve Irwin's Madame Tussauds wax figure.